There are literally thousands of talented people in the world. Many never come to know celebrity status or may not ever want the glamour and glitz that comes with such a lifestyle. Occasionally in my life, I've had the privilege of knowing a few of these people and recently felt compelled to help them tell their story. One of the most unique individuals I know, I met several years ago while playing an open mic in Daytona Beach. His name is Eddie Fields. Completely blind from complications of premature birth, Eddie has never known what it is to see. Subsequently, he does not let it hinder him or slow him down in any way. So you've been, uh, you've been blind since birth? Since birth, premature birth. Uh-huh. And uh, it's just something that you've, you've been used to your whole life, so... Yeah, it's, it's nothing to you. Gotcha. And um, what's been some of your your musical influences, uh, say the past five years? Who's who's influenced you? Uh, I I think any any music that has uh, a groove or a, a substance to it, I can I can pull from or texturing the um, sound. So I, I guess it would all depend on what what what's what's what catches my ear. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put uh, name specific groups or anything just because you get one angle of, of, of it. Sure. Sure. And diversity is, is good too, especially when you're being creative. You don't want to be... Put yourself in a box. Exactly. You don't want to be pinned down to anything. So that's good. Well, we've just finished uh, doing a little editing on a couple of new albums that you've got uh, in the oven. Um, tell me a little bit about those. Um, basically the format of all, of, of most things that I do, I want to um, take it different places, the CDs, uh, take take the sounds different places, mm -hmm. so my, my basic, um, uh, what you, I, I would say, uh, foundation is what sounds and tones I want to work with and, and then go from there with grooves and playing and texturing and And the CDs are called? The, uh, there's a uh, there's a few, there's a uh, up late, there's um, field trip chilling in the, in the dark, industrial funk and there's some other stuff I'm working on, New, a newer uh, some tracks that I've been working on uh -huh. the last few weeks here. Alesis uh, organ module here in the Juno G5. I think they're newer, they're new, newer Rollins. Uh, you're, you're a big fan of Rollins, aren't you? I'm a big fan of Rollins. What kind of amp do you use? Rollins. <laughs> what do you record on? Rollins. <laughs> you hear that, Rollins? <laughs> you gotta hook my man up here. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. So that'll be an eight. I got a digital delay pedal to roll in too. Oh man. <laughs> I think the one on the floor. Yeah. To 
Today, Eddie enjoys composing music in the style of funk, fusion, and jazz in his modest apartment in Daytona Beach. His arrangements are nothing short of amazing, as you'll see in this video. So how old were you when you first started uh, playing the keys? Do you remember? Uh, I think uh, like five, six. Probably, I think I've been messing with the... I, I, I remember uh, having a small little keyboard. Um, just messing with that and then... I think drums and keys were all around the same time area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what what was your first keyboard? Was it like, like a Casio or? I think it was even a. I don't even think it was even that. I don't even know the, the brand name, but it was almost like a. More like close to an accordion kind of. <laughs> because I remember it having like. Buttons on the side of it that had like chords, and then it had like. Uh, just a regular. I, I don't know. I, it was. It was. It wasn't a Casio though. Uh huh. And then Casio came a little bit later. How old? How old are you now? Uh, thirty three. Thirty three. Yeah. So you were born in seventy eight. Seventy eight. Oh, yeah. Cool. Take me through like a a regular day of recording.